Well, Hurricane Dorian is a slow moving catastrophe at this hour, but there's a small glimmer of hope. Let's take a look here at the big headlines surrounding the storm. First, the storm has been slightly downgraded to a category four, but that still means winds of 150 miles per hour. And this is the bad part. It's been moving at one mile per hour as it absolutely hammers the Bahamas. So take a look here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's video and you can see the utter devastation here. This is on the Abaco Islands, not far from Grand Bahama Island. And just take a look at this video here from NOAA. It's a satellite view of Dorian and video from inside a hurricane chase plane as it goes into the eye of the storm gathering data. So let's get over to Ben now with what that data is telling him, Ben. Yeah, Kim, we're just getting the numbers in from the National Hurricane Center. This is the five o'clock advisory. The storm is not moving. It's officially now stationary. Uh, the sustained winds are 145 miles per hour, so this is still a Category 4 storm. It would be bad enough to get a landfall from this, but they've had three landfalls in the Bahamas, and this storm is not moving. Now, the official forecast track does not look a whole lot different than the last several uh, ones that have been put out by the NHC. There's still that gradual turn off to the northwest and then eventually to the north. This is still a major hurricane by 2 a.m. on Wednesday. That's not a lot of movement there uh, over the next 36 hours, so it is going to be just off the Florida coast, dangerously close for a lot of folks, even closer for people in Charleston, South Carolina. This is two o'clock on Thursday, just off of the South Carolina coast. If you're looking at the middle of the forecast track and then maybe making an actual landfall in parts of the Outer Banks in North Carolina. So we're going to continue to watch this storm, but along the Florida coast, the time to evacuate is now. Shelters are open as Dorian's outer bands are already hitting. Jamie Garola is in Pompano Beach tonight where folks there are bracing for the worst. Right now we are in a tropical storm watch and wind gusts in this area are about 30 miles per hour. However, in some counties further north, they are already in a hurricane warning and could start experiencing those types of winds as early as tomorrow. We need help, everything now. Daylight reveals a path of destruction left in the wake of Hurricane Dorian after making landfall three times in the Bahamas. The water is about six feet, God be with us. Rain and storm surge wall up the islands. Grand Bahama taking the biggest hit. The catastrophic Cat 5 when it made landfall is the first hurricane of that intensity to hit the area. The windows have broken and now water is coming through those big windows you see over there. Bahamians recording the damage in disbelief. Everything is just in ruins. Now Dorian is taking its time in the Atlantic, barely moving. This satellite image off the Florida coast shows the magnitude of the storm. Residents on the east coast urge to remain on guard. We are in a situation where the storm is stalling very close to our coast. It is going to make a movement, and the movement that it makes is going to have a lot of impact uh, on Floridians. Parts of South Florida have seen a change in weather as the first bands arrive. Air on the side of caution and leave if you can. Um, and everything's replaceable. Um, your lives are not. Power crews in Florida on standby as conditions begin to deteriorate in the Sunshine State. Georgia and the Carolinas are next in line. Heavy rain and winds now threaten coastal areas, prompting evacuations in South Carolina as the region braces for Dorian's impact. Some schools in Florida already closed today and will remain closed throughout tomorrow. The Fort Lauderdale International Airport is completely shut down, but Miami International and Orlando both remain open. However, you can expect some cancellations and delays. In Pompano Beach, Florida, Jamie Garola, back to you.